What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to downgrade from iOS 10 back to iOS 9. Now, if you guys wanna try out iOS 10 for yourself and you haven't done so yet, I'll have a link in the description below for you guys to check out that you can upgrade to iOS 10 absolutely free right now. You don't even need a computer to do it. You can do it all on your iPhone. So again, check the link in the description below if you guys wanna check out all the new features. So I've been getting this question a lot lately, so I figured I'd just make a quick video on how to do this. It's a really simple process. Basically, all you wanna do is make sure that your device is obviously on iOS 10 and plugged into your computer. So you can see right here, if I go into my settings, that we can see here that I'm on iOS 10 right there. So this is the beta right now. So at this point, all you want to do is make sure that you download the correct IPSW, which right now is iOS 9.3.2. So you want to download that and then put that on your desktop. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on and make sure that you download the correct IPSW for your device. So right now I'm using the iPhone 6S. So this is the iPhone 6S IPSW for 9.3.2. So at this point, once you have the correct IPSW and you save it to your desktop here and your device is plugged into your computer, just go ahead and open up iTunes here. And then what you're gonna to want to do, if you're on a Mac, hold down the option key and then click check for update. This should give you an option to point directly to the IPSW that we have right here. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna change this to our uh, desktop here and then we'll click on the correct IPSW which you can see is the only IPSW here, and we're going to click open. Now, if you're on a Windows computer, then all you have to do is hold the shift key and click rather than obviously the option key and click. So you can see right here, iTunes is gonna update your iPhone to 9.3.2 and we'll verify the update with Apple. It's perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and click update and then it's going to start that process. So this should take a little bit of time, but I'll go ahead and speed up through the process so you guys don't have to wait. All right, so at this point it is done. So we're gonna go ahead and slide to upgrade and then enter our passcode here and it should go ahead and complete the process. And there you go. So let's go ahead and swipe to unlock and you can see that we're already on iOS 9.3.2 just because we swipe to unlock. Uh, we go into our settings, general, about, and you can see we're on 9.3.2. So you can always downgrade from a beta by using this method. It's really simple and straightforward. Of course, if you guys run into any issues, make sure you let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to help you guys out. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.